I appreciate very much uh, your participation in our ninth international symposium for a long time today. Due to the spread of COVID-19, this year's event is held online, unlike the usual year. How is your impression? This year's International Symposium is planned with the keyword Anthropocene. In the morning, Professor Benjamin Bratton of the University of California, San Diego, gave us a very informative and interesting keynote speech dealing with post-Anthropocene. Uh, it included uh, human issues and global issues. Also included the uh, Copernican uh, revolution, like ideas and thoughts on COVID-19, as well as uh, uh, Fukushima uh, nuclear power accident issues. And uh, in the afternoon, uh, the first session, it was second, session two, uh, regarding the world in Anthropocene and COVID-19, artist Miss Ai Hasegawa, designer Mr. Kazuya Kawasaki, uh, Prashi representative uh, Mr. Soma Suzuki, and Professor Tatsuhiko uh, Inatani, uh, and uh, uh, Associate Professor Masatake Shige Shinohara. Kyoto University made very su uh, suggestive discussions. I also appreciate Professor Deguchi uh, for his uh, excellent summary of this session too. Uh, this session was very interesting to reconsider. Uh, what is our happiness? What is our desire? How we can adjust our life, uh, our idea to social environment or to new global environment in the future. So it was very, very uh, interesting. And geological age of the planet Earth was, has become an era in which human activities have a decisive influence, the Anthropocene. How human beings will survive in that age is a major issue for us. Since its establishment, our school, g size Shishukan, has pursued uh, advanced integrated studies in human survivability. For the future survival of humankind, we have been working to solve various issues facing the world, facing the world beyond the boundaries of conventional academics and strive to develop leaders who will play an active role in the international community. In today's session three, such young graduate students presented their research and educational activities. I would be happy if you understand the activities of the students working on solving various problems. But today, just only four students, they are our uh, typical examples. And using today's interesting and informative discussions of speakers, we, G. Sais, would like to further promote our research and educational activities and contribute to the world. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude again to Professor Bratton for the keynote speech and to all the panelists and discussants. Also, I'd like to thank Wired Japan, Phoenix, and the Restartup Lab uh, Limited uh, Liability Company for co-organizing today's event. I'm glad that today's international symposium was successfully held with the participation, support, and the cooperation of everyone involved today. Together with all of you, we would like to make our utmost efforts to ensure the survival of humankind in this Anthropocene era. Thank you for participating in the International Symposium today. Now I close the ninth International Symposium of g -Size. Thank you very much. <laughs>